And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. As you can see, it's a very, very big breaking news story in relation to obviously Felipe Coutinho. Barcelona, let's get straight into it, have submitted a bid in the region of 100 and 18 million pounds for Felipe Coutinho, with 130 million pounds being the initial bid, and then the add ons obviously, the add ons being with him being a, a Ballon d'Or winner and currently Champions League if they won. But initially, the first uh, the breakdown of the deal was Barcelona. I'll look at just look at the, uh, the tweets now, I should see them here. The breakdown would see Liverpool receive a guaranteed payment of 82. Point one million with a thirty with a favour thirty six point five million linked to his progress. Yeah, that progress as I've just said at the beginning would be linked to his obviously Ballon d'Or if he become a future Ballon d'Or winner and Champions League payments. Let me know your thoughts. This is literally it's a weird one with Phil Coutinho, isn't it? I was in a situation, as I say, from this week, I was thinking I'd let him go, but I don't know, I'm like that. But I like this. Liverpool have made a stance. We've done an RB Leipzig, <laughs> obviously, with Navi Kaiser, what they've been doing to us. But it's refreshing, really. I want to know your thoughts. It's refreshing to see Liverpool and obviously RB Leipzig doing it with us. Southampton, to a certain extent, with Virgil van Dijk and other clubs around Europe. The club showing the players. That contracts do matter. Never if we do get Van Virgil Van Dijk or whatever happens with that, but it's important. And I think some me and yous that have been getting sick of players like kicking off, wanting out, whether that be Coutinho or any clubs players around Europe, it's about time players had like literally were told by the clubs, no, you got a contract. Contracts mean something in football. They need to mean something in football because obviously player power has been a big thing. I want to know your thoughts really on the whole deal in Coutinho. Would you have accepted £118 million? Obviously the £82.1 million being paid up front and the rest obviously as I said before. But I want to know your thoughts. It's a mad situation we, we find ourselves in it with Felipe Coutinho. For me, we're a strong, as, as we all know and you know, we're in a far stronger position if we keep him at our football club. But I'm pretty sure Felipe Coutinho would be a professional on his contract. The club's paying his wages, so he's getting paid to do a job, and that's play football on the pitch. Whether or not he wants to be there or not, that's another matter. But it, we're such a stronger team if we can keep him for another year. And obviously, if Barca don't stump up the cash, he's going to stay at Liverpool Football Club. But that would have made him... <clears throat> Apologies, everyone. That would have made him the second highest world transfer. Obviously, if we accepted that, obviously behind his fellow his fellow Brazilian Neymar. But let me know your thoughts. It's a huge one, isn't it? Coming out today. For me, I'm mate, like I'm like that. I'm like, yeah, should he go? Should he not? But I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I don't know if we should have accepted that. I do not know. I want to know your opinions, really. That's what's most important. But I think the fan base will be very, very split. Like, a couple of his we might say, oh, we, we should have accepted that. And some of some his, rightly so, would, would have turned around and said, no, we're a stronger team and he's not, he's priceless, as he is, as we all started off. But, as I said, we're a stronger, stronger team with Philippe Bigatino in. Let me know your thoughts down below. It's an absolute mad one, in it? When I've seen that come in officially, as always, I'll leave all the links and all that in the description so you can check out the full extent and the breakdown of the deal. But let me know your thoughts. I'm really, really interested to see what all your responses are in the comments. It's a mad one. On, on other transfer news, really... There's not much, obviously, Harry Wilson, I'll leave a story in down below as well. He's been linked with another loan out as well in relation to Alan Rodriguez. So it might be very interesting to see with, obviously, Ryan Kent and Trent and, obviously, a couple of the other younger lads getting a... And Shea, Shea Ojo's obviously just lo being moved out uh, to Fulham. But there's nothing really big to say. The City transfers, obviously, that got quashed by Paul Joyce last night. Lit excuse me everyone, hiccups, that was literally after I'd released the video, <laughs> well like an hour after and he come out and, and, and squashed the rumours and obviously City that very much doesn't look like it's happening, but it's a very very big, big window, the next two weeks, 
a very huge in Liverpool's transfer window and hopefully we can improve. Klopp, he knows his targets, so it's important for all of us to relax and chill. But it's a very big statement by FSG. They, they could have actually accepted that and they would have got the money as a football club and they might have spent it or however you feel on FSG. It's not a video, not, it's not about them. But it's a statement from FSG and Jürgen Klopp, as they've all been re reiterating, they released a statement last week and Liverpool as a football club do not want to sell Phil Coutinho and that's their final stance. No matter how much money Felipe Coutinho, Barca throw at us, he, he's still our player and he's still at Liverpool Football Club come the end of the window, hopefully. Because you tell me that forward line with Phil Coutinho, whether or not he's happy or not, but if he's in that team, that 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 is one hell of a player and, and a squad and a forward line. But I made up that we've actually rejected it. I'm very happy. I'm very, very, very happy that we've rejected it. And the continued stance of obviously Liverpool Football Club, Barca go and do one. It, it will remain to see if they actually come in with ever with any more offers. Hopefully not, and that's the end of the deal. But Klopp and the club and all of us as Liverpool Football Club, we, we want Phil Coutinho to stay at the club, whether or not he's kicking off. But we are and will be in a stronger position if he's still on our team. And he sorts out his attitude, whether or not he comes back. But I'm made up. Barca, unlucky with that bid. Um, focus, you know, staying at our football club. And yeah, have a good one, everyone. And literally, as I said before, there's not many much going on today. But that was obviously the main one dominating. And if you like this video, smash that like button. We very much appreciate it, everyone. Hope you're having a quality day. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Join us all, and I'm going to the match as well for the Crystal Palace match tomorrow. I'm trying to get a couple of bits of video, and I'll try and do like a post-match video for all yous. That gives give you an insight, obviously, if you've never been to Anfield. It'd be good. I can't wait, and I'm excited. Up to deads for tomorrow. I cannot wait. Three points. <sighs> Got to get three points. First match of the season at Anfield. Up to deads. Come on. Come on, everyone. Cannot wait. Enjoy the match tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. All the best. You'll never walk alone. Whee!